South America has many people in it of African descent. And everyone in South America of African descent is an Afro-American. Everyone in the Caribbean, whether it's the West Indies or Cuba or Mexico, if they have African blood, they are Afro-American. If they are in Canada and they have African blood, they are African-American. If they are in Alaska, though they might be called Eskimos, if they have African blood, they are African Americans or Afro Americans. So, what is Malcolm X trying to get? Again, it's the same similar thing, right? Don't think you're something you're not. Then. You're trying to say that, um, not. No matter where you're from, um, even if you have one single drop of African blood, you're still an Afro American. That's exactly what he's saying, right? Now, in our country, racist white people would say the same thing too. If, you're, if you have one drop of black blood and the rest of you is white, you're still black, right? So Malcolm X is owning this. He's like, you know what, you're right. I have one drop of black blood, then I'm African, right? So he's trying to get people to acknowledge that, again, to take pride in their culture, to be proud of who they are. And now, this should be, we should be heading to a new part here. I'm gonna have someone read it for us, the first part, inspired by our common determination. Who is going to read some of this? This is a tough reading, all right? Jaden, give it your best, I will help you along. So, can you just read that first? <clears throat> inspired by our common determination. To promote understanding among? Among? Among our people and cooperation. 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 Yep. In all matters pertaining pertaining to their survival and yeah, if you just advancement. We will support the aspirations of our people for brotherhood and solidarity and a larger unity transcending all organizational differences. That is a lot of fancy words. Does anyone know what in the world Malcolm X is saying today? We are inspired by our common determination, so we all have this in common, our determination to promote understanding amongst our people and cooperation. Right? So we all need to be on the same side. Taylor Hedden. Danny. So he basically wants to say that people, um, no matter like what race, should live in a dialogue, you know? And they should, um, like, they should start, like, looking at other people, you know, like, adapting and like, learning yeah. how they do stuff. Yes, but they, this is a message to the black yeah, community, Danny. right? We need to get on the same page. We need to have a common determination to promote understanding amongst ourselves, right? Not every black person in America at this moment is just down for the movement. The movement is scary. You risk everything, right? So you have to think there's lots of different people trying to fight for their rights in different ways. So again, trying to bring togetherness and same, being on the same page and how to move forward, how to gain rights. You can just say, be on the same page. All right, here, I'm gonna read some of this. I want you to let it sink in. Convinced that in order to translate this determination, into a dynamic force in the cause of human progress. Conditions of peace and security must be established and maintained. Conditions of peace and security must be established and maintained. And by conditions of peace and security, we mean we have to eliminate the barking of the police dogs. We have to eliminate the police clubs. We have to eliminate the water hoses. Taylor, pay attention. We have to eliminate all of those things that have become so characteristic of the American so-called dream. These have to be eliminated. Then we will be living in a condition of peace and security. 
We can never have peace and security as long as one black man in this country is being bitten by a police dog. No one in this country has peace and security. Demo. Oh, Yep. His people are not safe as long as all these things. Go ahead. I'm very good, Demo. Nice. Boom. What time is it? We have to rethink all of our systems. Because as long as one person is in danger, then what? Do we have peace in? Go ahead, Taylor. Um, as long as one black person is in danger, none of our are safe. Exactly. It ain't safe. You know? It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. Right? As long as there are police dogs doing this, as long as the police force is trying to fight against us while we fight for our rights, no one should have peace and security. And this is what Malcolm X is saying when he says, by any means necessary. I don't think Malcolm X is trying to say he just wants to ruin things. He wants justice for his people. And if he doesn't have it, Mike, what does he feel like? If he doesn't have it or his people don't have it, then what? Then nobody got it. Then nobody did. Excellent. Now, if you're feeling good and you feel like you got the rhythm, you can repeat after me. <laughs> Thank you. 